Hello. In this lesson, I want you to use the graphs of functions to determine if they have inverses. And I want you to find the inverses of functions both algebraically and graphically. First off, uh, the vocabulary we're going to have are inverse, relation, and function, and one-to-one. -one. First off, not everything has an inverse. Or what is an inverse? Maybe we should back up there, start there. An inverse is where we're going to undo it, or we're going to flip it around. In other words, we're going to take each member of my domain is now going to be my range. And each member of my range is now going to be my domain. We're going to flip the x's and y's around. To determine if a function has an inverse, or if a relation has an inverse, we're going to use what's called the horizontal line test. Remember, to see if something's a function, we have the vertical line test to see if it's a function. We graph it and see if the vertical line crosses it. Well, if it's a horizontal line test, what we're going to do is we're going to graph that function, and we're going to see if the horizontal line only touches it once. It has to be, in other words, this has to be a one-to-one -one function in order to, be, to have an inverse. So let's take a look at example one. I want to graph the function using a graphing calculator. Then I'll apply the horizontal line test to determine whether the function exists. So we're just going to start off here by seeing see even if the function exists. So I'm going to graph f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 1. So in the direction, say, use a graphing calculator. We could probably do this without, but we'll do f of x. equals the absolute value of x minus 1. And notice, since you have a horizontal line, I could draw a horizontal line going across, and it's going to touch it more than once. So this one does not have an inverse. Okay. Now let's take a look at example two. So on example two, we're going to graph that same thing. So I'm going to go back to my graphing calculator. And I'm going to make a new graph here. And I'm going to go g of x. Equals x cubed. minus 6x squared plus 12x and then minus 8. And if I look at this graph, and I'll sh shrink it in so you can see a little bit more, it looks like no matter where I draw my horizontal line, that is my horizontal line would only cross my graph once. So in this one, we're going to say, yes, the function, yes, it has an inverse. It was also a function, okay? 